Okay, so I'm logging into the system using a six digit code. Then I'm going to start. Okay, so that's the main menu. Okay, so from there I'll go back to the main menu, right? In the in the in the in the counseling room, they just go to the main menu and then they go to the demographic details. So according to the client that I've registered, this is the number word number four is a male. So I have four here and he's a male, so I just press that one. And then I go to next. And then this is the first part of the uh, uh, counseling session that takes place. So already I have uh, the current code in there, and then the couple type is not applicable because this one has come as an individual. And then I have an age uh, that I have to ask the, the, what, the client. So age, for example, I just put uh, maybe 23, right? Uh, current residential class, or um, uh, maybe urban. So basically, you look at the asterisk where it's going, and then you ask that question. So urban, I go to next. Uh, attend a group session. This is a session whereby uh, clients are counseled in a group, uh, kind of, not uh, in an individual. Uh, kind of so no maybe uh, currently employed uh, yes as who uh, current occupation that is maybe a professional okay highest education attended uh, maybe secondary school All right we go next and then marital status uh, be married go to next Current marriage type, is it monogamous, polygamous, or other? I'll just say monogamous. Next. Marital history. Uh, is it, it, was he previously married and was separated, or previously widowed, something like that, and then, or not applicable? I'll just say not applicable. And then I'll go next. How did he knew about the services at Macro? Maybe through radios. So I can choose a lot of, uh, uh, I can choose how. How many that the guy has out as, as said, maybe outreach, uh, sign points or clients, the news print, and all those get printed over there. Then you go to next. Uh, who, who has referred him to the word to macro for uh, VCT? Maybe the clinic or hospital or relative, or not referred. He just came on his own. Uh, what's the most important reason uh, why he's at macro today uh, for VCT? Maybe current HIV risk behavior. There are a lot of options there that you can go down and uh, see some of the words, some of the words, some of the options, and then uh, maybe just to confirm previous HIV status. So uh, go to next. Now from here you can either continue or hold or go back to change some of the words, some of the details that you uh, that you entered previously. For example, there uh, most important reason today can be changed. Or you can further go back, and then referred by maybe a relative, right? And then you go next. Most important, maybe uh, current HIV risk behavior, for example. Okay, so you go next, and then you can continue from there. We can even hold if they, uh, they have come like as a couple, right? You can say, okay, let me do the first part, this one, and then hold, and then get another one, do the first part again, and then later on I can continue. But as in this case, I'll just continue. So, uh, previously tested for HIV, um, uh, maybe yes, right, and it was HIV negative. Um, go to next. When was he tested? Um, probably January, right, I go to next, okay, when exactly, 2000 maybe, and five, okay, next, <laughs> where? Uh, where was it tested? So these, all, all these are centers where uh, VCD is provided. So you can go down, and maybe charm, public health, some private clinic. Then go. Can't ever have sex. Uh, maybe yes. Okay. What next? The number of six partners in a lifetime. Uh, maybe five, two. Um, what next? Last time client had sex. Maybe June. Um, uh, next, uh, 2006, probably. Ever been raped? No. 
uh, is the client pregnant? Uh, the the not applicable has come in because this this client is male. So that has prevented somebody just to enter what he, an inappropriate inappropriate word data in there. So it has what has prevented that. The NA has just come in because this is a client uh, who is male, cannot be what cannot be pregnant. So uh, previous blood transfusion, uh, I'll send the yes. Uh, number of partners in, partners in last six months, uh, maybe one. Okay, so uh, for that for that partner that was uh, that this guy encountered, I have to uh, enter what the details for that part. Was he was she a spouse? Was was it a steady partner? Was it a casual? Maybe I will just say, okay, this was a casual partner. Okay. Uh, was it a new partner? I would say yes. Uh, partner's HIV status definitely uh, unknown. <laughs> and then, uh, date of partner's last test, again, unknown because this is not, you don't know. And then, uh, you just go to the next and then unknown. Family planning methods. Uh, maybe other okay. condom use. Uh, never uh, condom use last night, last last time. Uh, I'm not a pure. I'm not a pure because the condom use is not. So that the first session. Uh, it's still going on. I've completed the recent partner details for that guy. So uh, symptoms of STI, no. Next symptoms of TB, no. Go to next. And then in that, in, in, uh, at this point, we have finished the f collecting the demographic details of, of the of the world of that client. So you see that this guy just came in for counseling only, or it came in for for full VCD, so uh, let's go to full VCD. Okay, so I log into the system by using a six-digit code. Then I'm going to start. Okay, so that's the main menu. <coughs> right. So uh, this is the testing, the testing um, part. So these are different types of uh, test ki testing kits. Uh, I think we go up to that one, the last one. So the viral capillary determine the first response and the like. So usually they do two tests, and the third one is just a, a tiebreaker in case the two of uh, the other one is positive, the other one is negative. So we just go to okay, barely. What's going be non reactive? Uh, press next. Okay, so since I've used the violin, it has been taken off from the list. So, and maybe determine, let's say for example it's reactive, right? At this point you'll ask me for what, for the third test, but if it was non-reactive, then it would, it, would what? It, would, it would have just given me an option to just save that and then it's done. So in this case I'll go to uh, first response maybe, and I go to non-reactive. And then I press next. So so far that guy is negative since the two um, test kits have what have tested uh, non-reactive, and uh, the third one uh, has tested reactive. So the two are basically the what the main one uh, that determine the status of a person. So I'll just save that. So uh, this is just to show you the what the the information that has been collected, uh, the first part of the information that has been uh, collected already. So if you go to risk assessment, you can see all those uh, recent partner details, that's all what, what I entered.